Hey guys, well Starbursts here, and welcome to the first episode of my Voxel Sniper tutorial series. The Voxel Sniper is a multiplayer plugin that enables you to terraform different terrain features from very long range. This means that making mountains, rivers, trees, and really anything you can think of becomes extremely easy within Minecraft. Today we're going to cover the basic brushes you can use, performers, and placement of different materials. To use the sniper, you'll need an arrow and a piece of gunpowder equipped. The gunpowder is retextured in the Voxelbox texture pack to make more sense with the sniper. The sniper has three variables that you control when sniping, the brush size, the voxel, or block type, and the performer, which I'll get to later. By default, the brush you have on the sniper is the snipe brush, which only affects one block at a time. Your block type is air, and the material performer is selected. To replace a block this way, just right click with the arrow. It will look as if the block has been destroyed, but it was actually replaced with air. If you were to change your block type to stone or wood, then the block would turn to stone or wood. To place a block, right click the gunpowder. Note that the gunpowder does the opposite of whatever the arrow does. This will come in handy when we get to terraforming. To change the block type that you are placing, type slash V and then an item ID. The V stands for voxel type and then the item ID matches whatever block you want to place. For now, type slash V17. This will make you place logs. Again, note how the arrow replaces blocks that you click on and does not destroy it. There are six other brushes you can use to place blocks in other patterns. There's the disc brush, which places a disc of the chosen block type. There's the voxel brush, which places a large block, or voxel, of whatever block type you've chosen. And then there's also the ball brush, which places a ball of whatever block type you choose. There's also the voxel disc, disc face, and voxel disc face brushes. But for now, we're going to focus on the first three. The way to activate the disc brush is by typing slash B, D, M. Again, the M at the end is a performer, which we will get to, but the B stands for brush and the D stands for disc. The voxel brush is slash B, V, M, and the ball brush is slash B, B, M. By default, the brush size of the disc, voxel, or ball you place will be 3. You can change the brush size of these brushes by typing slash B and then a number. Note that the number you type is the radius of the shape that you place. In other words, if you type slash B10 with a disc brush, you'll get a circle that is 20 blocks across. You undo with the slash U command. If you need to undo or remove more than one step, type the amount of steps after the command. If you want to undo 5 steps, type slash U5. Now to explain what performers are. While the brush type tells the sniper plugin what block pattern to place, the performers tell the plugin how blocks within the brush's region will be affected. On all the brushes I showed, I was using the material performer, which just places material wherever I click. Performers have two parts. The first letter you type describes what is being placed. This is mandatory. The letters here can be M for material, I for ink, also known as data value, and C, which stands for combo, and gives you the benefits of both. The second part is the replacement option, which is optional. This describes what material is going to be replaced. If you want to replace one material with another, the second performer would be M. If you want to use an ink replace brush, which only affects a certain data value of material, the second performer would be an I. If you want to do both, type a C. To change the material that you are replacing, type slash VR and then an item ID. VR stands for voxel replace. To change the ink type that you're going to use, type slash VI. I stands for ink, V stands for voxel. If you're going to use an ink replace brush, which only affects a certain data value of material, type slash VIR and then a data value to change which data value is replaced. There's also a no physics performer, which lets you place blocks where you usually can't. You can use this performer by typing MP in the performer spot. Now let's put it all together with a few examples. Now if I type slash BVMM, then set my replace material to stone with slash VR1, and then set my voxel to logs with slash v17, I can change all the stone to logs, because we're using the material to material performer. Now if I want to change the data value of the logs, I can type slash bvi. I use the ink performer, so we need to change our ink value to something different using slash vi1 in this case. Now if I click the block of logs, they'll change to redwood logs. Be sure to experiment with different brushes and performers on your own server, and join us next time when we review the basics of terraforming. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.